Good afternoon and welcome back to the shop. Um, I'd like to start off with thanking everyone for watching the last video. It got a lot of views and gained a new uh, couple of new subscribers. Thank you and welcome to the new subscribers and welcome back to the continued supporters. Anyway, uh, today's little project is just something quick to do. We're going to try and get the alternator closer to the motor so that when I use the front cultivators this arm won't hit the uh, alternator. So, in the last video as well, I said that the lock plates were broken that hold this bar to the front of the cultivator. So, I made new ones. So, I'll, um, so when I'm done with this, I'll probably put this on. I've already got the one on the other side, but I may take it back off and paint it first. So, uh, let's go ahead and start taking some of this stuff off so we can uh, get the fan shroud off so I can get the belts off try the new belt see if it's going to work see if I need to modify the alternator bracket so let's go okay let's get caught up to speed what I did was I removed, of course, the sheet metal, uh, the hood, the grill, so I could access this. The fan shroud has been removed, and in order to do the take the fan shroud out, you got four bolts, one on bottom, one on top of each side. Uh, they are quarter 28s, so it'll be a half inch wrench. And I took the bracket off here the support bracket that goes from the bottom of the water neck to the upper bracket that was removed and I loosened the pulley assembly right here in the back which was 11 16 wrench and I've removed the belt from the uh, the crank and water pump belt that's been removed and now I have the alternator loose so that we can see if this new belt will work. So let me take this old belt off. Hopefully we can get this done without any modification. All right, new belt. Okay, I've got it to start. Uh, belt's got good tension on it, but uh, I've got to raise this up after I put the uh, the crank belt on. So let me go ahead and get the crank belt or water pump belt on and see. It looks like it might clear it, but we'll see in just a few. So let me get this belt on. All right, crank belt is on. What I'm going to do is get a pry bar and uh, raise this up to get the tension off. And then we'll see if we need to modify this. And if I do, I'll modify it and then reinstall it. But hopefully I won't have to. So let me get this tightened up and we'll come back. All right. Um, I put the bracket back in here to keep the radiator from falling back into the fan. 
every, uh, the belts and everything are tight. So I'm going to start it up and see if we got clearance. And if not, then I'll just take the bracket off here, modify the bracket, and put it back on, make sure we have clearance. So here it goes. Okay, the cultivators are all the way up and we didn't have any interference with the alternator. So we're good. I'm going to take this bracket back off so I can put the fan shroud back in and we're going to get it back together and we'll start it up again and make sure we're still good once we're um, back together. So we'll be back in just a few. Alright, that is it. Everything is back together. I'll put this bracket on later and uh, I'll include a picture of it, what it looks like installed, which is just a you know, lock plate. 
But anyway, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great night from Old Red Tractors.